Today, I, I was born in Iran, <clears throat> and I moved to U.S. when I was about 16 years old, and uh, I have lived there, and you know, now I have two countries. When I started training in Russia, that became my third country, uh, because mm -hmm. I felt so close to you know, uh, the people there, and everyone who trained me, prepared me for this you know, trip of a lifetime. And um, you know, when, uh, when I look back at the history of space program, and uh, there was this moment where um, the astronauts and cosmonauts worked together for, uh, you know, the two, um, you know, for, 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 the, for the Apollo and uh, the, the Soyuz uh, docking, and then the uh, docking of the space shuttle with, with the Mir station. And all these things were done at the time where the political situation was in a turmoil and a lot of conflict existed. And today I was sitting and listening to uh, the speakers talk about how the collaboration between the cosmonauts and the astronauts doing research has increased and there's a lot more collaboration even now. And uh, I was listening to this and thinking back at right now actually the conflict on the political side is uh, increasing. And uh, this has always been a catalyst you know, the astronauts and cosmonauts and the scientists and their work together has always been a catalyst to bring countries closer together because science speaks a, a universal language. And I think in the case of Iran and, and United States, I'm very hopeful that maybe in the future there will be collaboration in space even. And there's a very nascent space program just starting in Iran. And, uh, you know, I'm sure there will be a lot of desire for collaboration. And I'm hoping that I will see a day that there will be a joint mission, joint research done together between the two countries because I know the people of both countries want to have normal relationships and I'm hoping for that day to happen. Mm, great. Mm -hmm. <laughs>